Hey guys, Andrew Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. And in this video, I wanted to do sort of a comparison pros and cons between a handheld bow release and a wrist bow release. Uh, I've been using a wrist mounted bow release for quite a while actually, pretty much the entire time I've been shooting a compound bow. And I just recently got the opportunity to purchase myself a handheld release. And so there's a, a few pros and cons for each of them and I wanted to go over them and let you know what I think. Keep in mind that these are by no means the top of the line of each class. Uh, this one I believe I got for about 60 bucks, and this one's a true fire. And this one I got for about 80 bucks, and it's a hot shot. Um, both of them have like kind of the base of the features that you're going to expect to find on each one of them. Uh, where both of them, they're going to be ambidextrous, so you could switch this thumb trigger to either side and also rotate this barrel independently from the actual side of this little post here, uh, making it left hand or right hand, or if you, your thumb comes out a little bit of an angle, you can adjust for that. This one has the uh, ambidextrous feature as well. It's just a rotating of that. Um, I've seen a lot of the higher ends have an adjustment so you can fine tune the distance between the trigger finger and uh, where the strap for your wrist goes. But both of them have a screw at the trigger, which allows you to fine tune how much pressure you're gonna be putting on the trigger before it releases. And they're both relatively comfortable and both of them have been proven to be very durable as well. It's gonna vary by model, but the wrist release tends to be a little bit further away from the hand than the handheld release. Which means that between the two, the difference is about a half inch with the handheld release being about a half inch shorter, which means that your length of pull will be increased by about a half inch. The half inch between the two could help you fine tune the draw. So it's a good idea to have your bow with you when you're choosing a release at the shop. The majority of the handheld releases that I've seen have a crab claw type release with one side that moves instead of the caliper type. The caliper type is more like a ant's pinchers where both sides move at the same time. A big reason that some people choose the handheld release is that it can be clipped into the D-loop on the string so you can go hands-free. Whereas the wrist mounted is either on or off, but it's always attached to your body. I prefer the handheld release for fishing because I can place it into my pocket when I'm reeling in a fish, or place it in a pocket when I'm climbing up a tree stand. Coming from a rifle and pistol background, it was super weird going from that to a thumb release. Top one right here, I cheated up a little bit because I wanted it to get a little more central on the kill zone there. My fingers naturally felt like they wanted to curl with the thumb because that's what my hands normally do. However weird that it did feel, it was fairly accurate. I hit the second arrow in the string of fire with my third arrow. After I damaged my second arrow, I started to aim for different parts of the target intentionally. Most of my experience is going to be with the wrist release, and a whole bunch of fishing has been done with that. The trigger is more translatable from a firearm, so it's a lot easier to switch between the two. It's also worth noting that injuries or other physical ailments could impact your choice between a wrist release and a handheld release. So you're going to have to see for yourself whether you want tension in your fingers or on your wrist. Here's what I've come up for the pros and cons for each. For the handheld, a pro is that it's accurate. You can go hands-free, and I find it more comfortable than the wrist-mounted. 
A con for the handheld is if you're not using the lanyard, you can drop it from a tree stand or into the water. And coming from a firearms background, it's harder to transition between a firearm to a thumb release. For a wrist mounted release, the pros that I've found is that they're easier to find because they're far more common and they do have a similar trigger to a firearm. And because they are more common, the units start at a lower price. A con for the wrist mounted is that it flops around on your wrist when you're not hooked into the bow. And they tend to be bulkier because of the strap itself. So that is the wrist release and the handheld release. I'm by no means a subject matter expert. I would consider myself a recreational shooter before anything else. I do a little bit of hunting, a lot of fishing, but overall I like to shoot compound bows. With that being said, I'm sure there's a lot of viewers out there that have shot either or quite a bit. If you guys have any uh, things that you wanna chime in that I didn't go over or things that you wanna add, go ahead and comment down below. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and comment down below or you can message me directly either through Instagram or Facebook. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Instagram, Facebook, and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.